Today, we are introducing the LG Beauty Smart to you. It is the top camera phone of the manufacturer for 2009 and it is quite a good looking device that delivers good multimedia functions. The phone sports a 3 inch wide VGA resolution screen that, thanks to the light sensitivity sensor, remains usable even in direct sunlight. Aside from it, there is just one button on the front side used to call the home screen. It doesn't have enough trouble and you need to press it right in the middle to get it to work. On the right hand side of the device, you will find a relatively easy to press volume rocker and camera shutter along with the charger port. The back houses an 8 megapixel camera with flash and despite the former looks as if made of metal, it's actually plastic. The micro SD slot and the button that calls the cube, that is a distinguishing feature of the Esquas 3D interface, are on the left hand side of the phone. Let's take a closer look at the cube. You have different home screens on its four sides where you can place shortcuts, favorite contacts with their corresponding pictures, widgets and multimedia. The latter hosts up to 15 of your favorite songs, pictures and videos and they can be directly played from here and we need to say the music player comes with a pleasing design. The limited number of files means this particular home screen comes into use rarely. If you think these functions are not enough, you need to navigate to the main menu where all available apps can be found grouped by relevant categories. Icons are easily rearranged, but bear in mind they can only remain in the row they belong to and taking a look at all of them means you need to switch to horizontal view. Everything you do in the menus is accompanied with nice animations. Along with the beautiful icons, they make the interface really pleasing. Unfortunately, all the slicks slow down the phone and accessing functions takes longer. For an instance, you need to wait for 3 seconds until the rollers used to set the event date in your calendar finish spinning around. Functions relating to organizing your daily schedule, messages and contacts are thoroughly described in our review of the IOG Arena, so we won't be talking about them. Still, we would like to say something about the on-screen keyboards. The one that appears in portrait mode is ok, but the other that is available in landscape mode decreases the size of the keys too much, so you need to press them really slowly and carefully. Still, chances are you'll find yourself making a host of mistakes. The phone's internet browser renders pages properly and is controlled through multi-touch. Unlike the iPhone, spanning images is followed by severe delays. They prevent you from noticing the extent to which you have zoomed in and in most cases you are unable to see what you want, so you need to scroll to get to the desired place on top of that. And it gets worse. You need to almost literally get your nose into the display to click on links because text is not formatted so as to fit onto the screen and hyperlinks often overlap with underlying text and page elements. As a whole, the browser feels disagreeable to use unless you only use it to browse through simple web pages, meaning you won't need to use the zoom function. Naturally, the emphasis with this particular device falls on its 8 megapixel resolution camera. This is the first time we have seen a function like the intelligent shot on a cell phone. It sets your camera depending on environmental conditions, say, if it's a sunny day or at night, and the objects the device is directed towards, such as a group of people, portrait or landscape. When you activate it, several charts appear in the bottom right corner that show the objects the phone is turned to, but the device needs several seconds to accurately recognize them. The whole point to this particular function is to deliver the best image quality attainable, say, a picture of people who appear in focus with the light coming from behind them fittingly evened off and the background properly exposed. If turned on along with face detection, the function allows focusing of up to 5 faces. The other options are exposure control, flash mode and switching between automatic and macro mode. Additional functions are available through the wheel-shaped digital camera menu. You can switch between video call and main camera, change the resolution, 
add effects, set white balance and self picture timer. The additional modes are plenty as well. Fast capture, smile detection, a mode called beauty shot that removes flaws, artistic and panoramic capture. Maximum ISO sensitivity is 1600 and you have image stabilization as well. You can take your pick from point, face or manual focusing with the latter being quite rare to come across on cell phones and probably most useful to people inclined to taking pictures with artistic value. We are displeased that most modes have resolution limitations. For an instance, in flow removal and artistic shooting modes you can capture pictures with resolution under 1 megapixel, which is rather odd for a device coming out in 2009. The image quality is below par in terms of modern standards. Colors are not saturated enough, do not look realistic and pictures lack enough details even when they have been taken in good lighting conditions. Macro mode pictures were the only one that managed to impress us thanks to the very good focusing on objects. Intelligent shot adds noise and its only use is to even off light coming from behind the object. We recommend that you keep away from the mode with indoor snapshots because they will be excessively noisy. The camera flash is a weakling that doesn't help things at all. All told, the overall quality of videos captured with the Beauty Smart is not impressive, even if videos play smoothly thanks to the 30 frames per second capability of the phone. The maximum resolution at which videos are captured is 720 by 480 pixels. The music player is a notebook, but you will eventually get used to it in time. For an instance, you don't have access to the Adobe Mobile function in horizontal mode, but you will be able to see the song you are listening to all the time. The video playback capabilities of the Beauty Smart disappoint. The device supports DivX and Exvid, but the maximum resolution is limited to 352 by 288 pixels. In other words, you won't be able to watch movies downloaded from the internet right away. MPEG-4 files can have resolution of up to 720 by 480 pixels. No matter which option you go for, image quality is decent, although artifacts are noticeable in both formats, with those in DivX videos actually preventing you from being able to see things properly. As a whole, the phone is far behind the Samsung Omnia HD and the iPhone in terms of video playback. The LG Beauty Smart is a device with modern and pleasing overall look. It comes with amazing set of functions to meet the needs of ordinary customers. In-call quality is good, the battery is robust and the Esquas 3D interface is comfy to use despite its few shortcomings. Unfortunately, the phone disappointed us big time in the two categories that are most pertaining to it, camera and multimedia. Still, if you're looking for a modern cell phone that offers a variety of functions and appealing interface, the Beauty Smart is a good option. We would, however, recommend that you consider the LG Arena because it delivers the same functionality, has different design, extended built-in memory and 3.5mm jack. If you need a capable camera, you'll be better off waiting for the 12 megapixel cell phones that are to appear at the end of the year. Alternatively, you can opt for the Samsung Omnia, HD, the Pixon or the Innovate. Their reviews are available on phonearena.com.